Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mashar. I'm really grateful today uh, to be here. And frankly speaking, Dr. Mukhtar always has an upper hand on me. Uh, he always loved to be among younger generation and always want uh, to, you know, talk to you. Though I know what happened today and he, you know, both uh, the cases, his presence is needed. Uh, but I'm really, sir, grateful that you are here. Dr. Ziba, I will call her our mentor because uh, uh, I'm lucky that I'm one of the person when we were having PBSA, uh, you know, initiated this effort. I was in Karachi with, uh, I should mention, uh, Dr. Uh, you know, Naseem, Anwar Naseem, uh, who is now in Canada. We started registration and all this activity with Iram and other friends in Karachi. Uh, and Dr. Saeed, the younger man who is carrying this flag that was there, and he also is um, among the initial people. Dr. Muhammad Ali is here, and many other fr friends. Uh, Dr. Mansoor Kundi, uh, he is the former executive director at HEC, presently vice chancellor of Baudin Zikri University. Uh, thanks, sir, for coming. He is an international relations professor, so we expect that he should also speak for a couple of minutes the importance of uh, whatever we are doing, this biosafety and biosecurity and other issues. Just for the sake of the chairman and uh, some of you, you may have already, you know, learned and you may have already uh, have a lot of knowledge last two, three days now. Uh, but I would just add something and we'll go very quickly. Uh, maybe I'm repeating something because unfortunately I was also away in Karachi and then... Uh, 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 chairman Sahib was traveling uh, to Multan and then to Shikarpur. Uh, so le let me tell you a few things. Uh, what's wrong with the research culture? Why it's, you know, we, we are talking all this, not only bio kind of thing, but generally, for example, higher education commission that they have to look after many things uh, we may say. And it's true for Pakistan too, it's an international story. But here in Pakistan also, lack of diversity, overwork, harassment, hyper-competition, mental health, assessment, impact factor, public, blah, 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 blah. So it's a lot of issues that during your training, not only this bio-related, but we have to, because that is related to you. If you are under mental stress, you will be committing things that uh, may harm you. But coming back to the story, biosafety, biosecurity, uh, the difference between the two, valuable biological material. So we simply, if we define it, we say biosafety is to keep bad bugs from the people and biosecurity is to keep bad people from the bugs. So in a way, we, we need to really talk about both these words because we, we, we have to be responsible as what I call it, a PhD, a professor, who else could be responsible than you? And if whatever is happening, I usually say in meetings when uh, Chairman uh, Mukhtar, uh, we have the similar ideas. That's why I should not be calling him friend. He's a boss now. But uh, Mansoor Kundi and we always, uh, Mansoor Kundi is usually our host when uh, we want to talk about the whatever is happening in the country. We all professors are responsible because they are all our students who are doing something nonsense. Not the radiwala, not uh, other person that the things are wrong. It's wrong because of educated people and they are our product. I call it general. So uh, this is what you may be, you may have talked about this for the last few things, but I hope you have, you have learned all this. PPE, administrative controls, engineering controls, uh, you know, substitutions, eliminations, etc. So I hope this training has given you something, what we call it, these four words that uh, usually in the train of trainer, we may have discussed is administrative controls, engineering controls, protective, personal protective equipment and practices and procedures in the lab. So I don't need to, to, to discuss it in more detail. And you may also be knowing that what should not be done in the labs. All these things, eating, drinking, smoking, handling, et cetera, et cetera, 
And how should be the lab like? No, no carpets, rugs, or fabric covered chairs and labs. All this where something can be deposited, and later on someone can carry it innocently outside of the lab. So those issues that you have already done it. I'm not going into it. What I will be going into it, which is related to higher education commission later on. So another word that I usually love it that is responsible conduct of science and voluntary record of conduct in the labs. So that is where to risk all those risks that are intended or unintended uh, consequences, a biological agent, or uh, you know, uh, it may release accidentally or purposely or whatever. So that is that you, you I hope that these trainings are already imported uh, built-in mechanism for all this. If not in next one, uh, Saeed, I would love to, to talk more detail about this if there are something missing in the training. But the most important that I want to talk to you is the leadership. You are all in charge of the lab or in the career. You know, there are different uh, life stages in your career. Early career, mid-term career, mid-career people, and then people like me who are in Kabar So those, those, those three types of people that are there, but as a leadership, you have to have to know that the most important, I call it the behavior. That is that how you behave, whether you are a mid-career person, whether you are, for example, chairman, higher education, whatever. So that is that today, I'm proudly say that HEC has been transformed in the last six, eight months. All the vice chancellor, I talked to them because all are my colleagues. I remained when I was a child vice chancellor at that time. <laughs> but now, you know, all they, they talk to me. So the, 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 the trust and humility, the, you know, execution and management, communication with the fellow stakeholders and trainings. So I hope that you also got those basic things that are needed uh, if you want to be. So then uh, one most important thing that maybe Mansoor Kundi would also love to uh, talk about is the ethics and dual use of research. He being the international relations professor, he may speak that how important is it that you as a known Pakistani uh, that are behaving responsible responsibility in the labs and in the young people. So that we, the, the image that are being taken out is very important. I proudly say that HEC has done several good things from evaluation to, you know, uh, responsibilities, the, the IBCs, the institution, either by safety or by bioethics committees, they all, they, 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 they have built in mechanism in Oryx and others, they, they are doing that. But we hope that you, you guys, when you go out of it, uh, how you behave. And finally, I may be speaking about the management system components. That's also important. If you are graduated from this training, uh, why should I am at the last slide on Mashal's existence? I will be talking about the credit hours that you will be given to you in the future. I, I will get a promise from higher education commission chairman that you will be getting those uh, in your careers as, as I'm fell PhD student, BS students, uh, you will be getting for but that you should be knowing all this bio risk system security risk assessments pathogens labs etc cetera, etc cetera. so you you should all be aware of all this whatever is happening in your surroundings uh this is one thing that we we all should as a leaders of uh, uh, higher education in the country we should be having mayors uh, one is prevention other is response if there is something we should have kind of measure that we need to take is proactive, preventive, and prepation, PPP, not Pakistan People's Party. But we, we call it uh, proactive, preventive, and preparation. That too, uh, proactive means removing uh, possible causes. That's there. How? Engaging people, engaging, engaging stakeholders. And then we want to say preventive, then erecting barriers if there is anything that we think that somebody can do wrong. So for the labs, that's also there are some regulatory, legal and others. I'm not talking detail because chairman has to go somewhere. And then preparation for minimize impact and containment uh, responses. If something happens, God forbid, 
how you 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 respond to it after care and uh, you know preventing spread how to cordon off how to help the law enforcement agencies if something happens uh, like uh, uh, we can say pakistan really behaved uh, very positively in corona crisis and said was one of the uh, you know forefront forerunner person leading all that uh, this is something uh, when we say uh, as a leader you should be having vision for the labs uh, bio risk management for responsible life sciences and that too if you go from the bottom from communication education training capacity building there is the research excellence ethics and the laboratory security and safety that's how you ensure that this is the hierarchy that you have to really work on it uh, i'm sorry uh, nasir chale beech mein ek do slide okay but let, let, let's uh, here uh, very quickly risk what is a risk bio risk when we say that is the bio safety and bio security and uh, and how you manage it assessment mitigation and uh, you know performance and th th there is the severity of harm etc uh, that works uh, how you manage it assess mitigation and performance these are the standards uh, these five standards from identifying who can be harmed and how how you evaluate it and how you record your finding if something happens and then how you monitor and review this is uh, how you go and uh, finally the culture the concept the model from beliefs attitude to personal behavior to management system to leadership behavior specifically the leadership behavior how you behave as a leader when you are in crisis that is very important next please and uh, the, here this is the chairman saab i need your uh, your uh, support and uh, your uh, you know vision uh, with hcc since last almost now two decades uh, 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 mukhtar saab is one of the founder of higher education commission because so, since early day he was there we wanted to have national accreditation council for life sciences too we have a critical council for agriculture for it for blah blah management etc etc and the most important for the human health is the life sciences whoever wants to open a microbiology a flana discipline dengana discipline they just get a permission initially it's okay somebody goes and it's okay go ahead and then nobody checks it so my submission to you since those days we made everything for the higher education commission because uh, people believe that uh, when mukhtar is there i'm part of the commission though uh, so we we work it so sir my request humble submission to you is hcc has already done this this arrow that i have establishment of rx department ibcs etc but what we need is that we should have and this doesn't need any money only the will because this council will have money for themselves when somebody wants to open or who they are already open pbsa can be a partner uh we can you know guide them help them how to safe secure the labs that you are having all the life sciences and my submission is one is that the other one is sir the credits of training conducted by PS pbsa this is sometimes long training weeks and weeks so we may when we do all this accreditation we may say the universities and higher education commission may recommend that come on if somebody gets that kind of a certificate of one two three the steps they will get such, such and such credit for those uh, trainings because it is more useful than the lab courses uh, or the teachings because this is on hand since two three days you are working on hand here and uh, how you behave in the lab so sir these two things my humble submission to you that kindly uh, initiate something and I, we and pbsa as a whole will be on your disposal to prepare all the legal documents and everything uh and that accreditation will carry a lot of weight for the university ranking to internationally because if they have this uh, certification from us uh and pakistan academy of sciences already got a huge project from you for such purposes so sir my humble submission will be that uh and i think i stop here but let me on behalf of dr mushal invite